basically just the same thing. Uh, I don't put olives in, but I put in an egg to bind it together. And basil, and I, I want to use the lean ground beef. I don't use the sausage meat as well. But by the time they cook down, they're a lot smaller. So our first stop was Pisa, and um, you know, because um, like I said, the, the uh, cruise originated out of Barcelona, Spain, where we'd spent three days just sightseeing, so um, we're looking forward to seeing some of uh, Italy. So it was a bus tour. Pretty good day. Uh, you 
don't see the lean tower pizza. We didn't go in. I kind of wish now we had. Because I dated a woman years ago. And she said the stairs going up are kind of... Uh, they're really worn. That's very interesting. But I was happy just to see it. And uh, get my picture taken. And Linda and I wandered around the grounds taking lots of pictures. And there was a t-shirt there. Of a Mona Lisa, I wish I'd bought it. I really wish I'd bought it. Um, it was just so cool. It's one of those things, you know, you, you look at it, and you think, ah, whatever. But when you get home, you think, man, why didn't I, did, why didn't I buy that? I got a picture of it anyway. Boy, I had a very good day uh, in Pisa. Like I said, you know, sightseeing, learning about the history, and just taking scats of pictures. Linda and I, we were both uh, uh, photographers. We, we love taking pictures, you know, just, it's like one of our favorite pastimes besides traveling. So, took a lot of pictures. So, that was, that was fun. So, after that, the, um, the next stop was uh, Rome. Got to Rome early in the morning. Kind of overcast. So the drive into Rome from where the ship docks, just seemed like a couple of hours and I'm not sure how long it was, but it was quite a drive, but it was great to see the countryside, you know, it was fantastic. I'll never forget this young couple. They were on their honeymoon. They had actually gotten married a year earlier, but they couldn't afford to take their honeymoon until they were from Ireland, young couple, and it was so funny. The whole time they were on the bus, they weren't even looking out the window. They were both sitting there on their phones like this, just constantly on their phones. Whenever I saw them, um, you know, in a dining room or anywhere on a lot, uh, whenever I saw them, they were always on phones, always on their phones, you know, uh, it was their honeymoon, but they just seemed so disengaged, it was kind of weird, but I guess that's the way some people are nowadays, but so, so we uh, finally get to Rome, and we're driving through, and I was so impressed city where it's just like a big slab of cement but there's so much greenery so many trees and I just couldn't believe it. I was so impressed with that you know I thought it'd just be all this ancient stone and new stone everything just everywhere but you know a, a lot of greenery it was just pretty nice and our first stop is the Treffy Fountain so the bus parks down there fairly close. We had a walk. A lot of sort of rough cobblestone type roads. Didn't bother us any. Got 
back on the bus, went to the Coliseum, the Coliseum, uh, the bus can't park real close to the Coliseum, it has to be, uh, it was like a few blocks away, I guess, it wasn't that far, but it can't drive right up there, I guess for security reasons and all kinds of reasons, but Absolutely fascinating. Just fascinating. And the tour guide asked me, she said, Is it as big as you expected? I said, Yeah. I mean, it's the size of a lot of modern stadiums today.
and said, make sure you share this with your partner, because I said, this is such a, an amazing idea, you know, what a, what a concept, you know. So we went for lunch. By the time we got to the restaurant, it starting to rain, we get off the bus, run for the restaurant. It's coming down in sheets, just pouring this torrential downpour, oh my gosh. We get there because there's uh, our group and a few other groups. They want to give us a choice of two different things. As an Andre, it was chicken or salmon. And uh, Linda chose the chicken, I chose the salmon. salmon lots of different restaurants here it's all very good but the one in Rome was really good the one in New York was really good too both very good neck and neck so anyways we ate our our meal and we had to make a run for the bus so we did so we drive to the the Vatican Vatican is, uh, it's extremely ornate. I mean, it's very opulent. It's just unbelievable. I've been in a lot of Catholic churches and stuff like that. I've never seen nothing like this. You know, the, the Vatican Museum, it's just, you wouldn't believe the sculptures, you know. It's just uh, unbelievable, just crazy. The, the sculpt, sculptures and statues, and it, it's unbelievable. You have to see it to, to believe it. So anyway, so we get there. And we're walking through, and um, it's just, Everywhere you look, there's just opulence. There's all these open windows with no glass, just, just open windows. So I was taking pictures out of these open windows, and by then it had stopped raining, and you can see rays of sun coming in. It was just fantastic, just wonderful. amazing standing in there and looking up at that ceiling it's just unbelievable you know you just um, it's one of those pinch me moments where it's like you know I can't believe I'm here I got the same thing when I visited the pyramids you know I just couldn't believe it
It was just, um, it was, it was breathtaking, it really was. But, um, so anyways, we walked, I got lots and lots of pictures and just, you know, it's just, I couldn't get enough of it. I, I could stay there for weeks and just looking around. So, like I said, we went outside. I started with the tour started moving outside. The sun was out. It was just hot and beautiful. And took lots of pictures outside. It was just wonderful taking pictures. So, anyways, took tons of pictures. Started going outside. And, um, yeah, there's lots of interesting things to see outside, too. You know, we like to people watch, you know, the denied to people watch, and all kinds of interesting people, interesting vendors, and uh, so many things to see, you know, and just, you know, staying there looking at the Vatican itself, and we could see the, um, you know, the, the windows where the, the Pope, uh, you know, gives his message from, and that sort of thing. It's uh, just just wonderful, just what an experience to be there. Rome is such a beautiful city. Linda and I always wanted to go back. We always said we want to go back and spend at least a few days there. And just, you know, you know, we saw a bridge that was hundreds of years old still being used and stuff like that. It's just fascinating. I think it's not just the touristy things at the Colosseum. I like to really see the whole city, you know, and, you know, explore a lot of the restaurants and parks and, you know, uh, something. Some museums and, and see different things. And so, anyways, it was um, a, a real experience going there. Just unbelievable. When I go on trips like that, I always buy my son a, a can of Coke from every country. And the Vatican is actually a country. It's the smallest country in the world. I bought a can of Coke from the from the Vatican. And uh, on that same trip, we went to um, Monaco, you know, Monte Carlo, and that's the second smallest country. And um, later on, we'd go to Russia, which is the largest country, so I've gotten him cans of Coke from all kinds of different countries. And he says it all tastes the same, you know. I, I guess I would, you know. So after the Vatican, back to the ship and um, I think it was either the next day or a couple days later uh, we go to a place called Salerno and we catch this ferry up the Amalfi coast to the island of Capri it was the next day that's right because I remember it was overcast again sitting on the ferry you know, I had a bottle of uh, Italian beer called Peroni and I can buy that beer here in Canada when I go to Italian restaurants I always order that beer Peroni so uh, we get on the boat and some people are kind of concerned about the weather and I said you know what yesterday we were at the Vatican and the skies opened up and it just poured but then it was over within a half hour and the sun came out and I said it'll probably do the same thing so anyways do this really amazing ferry ride and it's funny I guess that we're, it's early in the morning the guy wants to sell me a bottle of Peroni and I'm thinking you know I should be drinking orange juice it's it's breakfast time not you know beer but he he's like you know smiling are you sure you know and I thought I'm on vacation that's to me it's all part of the experience so I had my first bottle of Peroni and I've I've loved that beer ever since
views from up top, you know, beautiful views. Got a lot of really good pictures. Um, we also went for a meal there too. And um, I forget what I ate, but uh, there was a lot of food. It was really good. Staff was so nice. It was wonderful. Sat in this little corner about eight of us to a table, I think. Can't remember. But it was fun. But um, it was a really good day. A very good day. cities back then, you know, just wonderful, fascinating, you know, you really have to wonder how, how those structures got built, like when you think about the Colosseum, you know, how, how they just carved that rock, it's so ornate and so beautiful, like how they do that, you know, thousands of years ago, just, just unbelievable. city is so functional, you know, they pretty much thought of everything like sewer and all that and water and it was just so functional, just amazing, and yet it was all over in, in no time at all, you know, just one morning and it was it.
cruise ship has to come in real slow, right? I can understand why, because of erosion, that sort of thing, but you, know, you come in and you can just see for miles and miles all these, you know, the whole, it's not just like one little city out there, there's all these little islands and stuff, it's just, it's, it's just fascinating, it's like, wow, you know, the, the way it's all built like that, just surrounded by all that water. And it was so interesting, because everything, you know, all the transportation, you know, at least in, in, in most parts is by, by boat, you know, uh, it's not like that everywhere, but you know, the, the waterways are well used, there's, there's all kinds of boats, and not just gondolas, but all, all kinds of power boats, and all, you know, and it's really interesting, this one day, or I mean, this, this when we were, when we stayed overnight there, that's what it was, we were there overnight, I can't remember if it was the first day or the second day, but we went to another little island, and, um, there was a cop standing on there, and he was uh, with his radar gun, and he was, excuse me, he was uh, zapping people with his radar gun. We were going too fast on the water. I'd never seen that before. Not sure what the speed limit is, but uh, it was just so interesting. This is one of those places where you could uh, you could stay there for weeks and weeks and weeks and just take pictures, just picture after picture, and you can't take a bad picture in that city. It's just impossible. Everything's so beautiful and so interesting. We took so many. Venice. Very, very crowded. I mean, it's all tourists, let's be honest. You know? But it looks just like it does in movies or on in pictures. And then they took a picture. Had it blown up and it's on. St. Mark's Square and lots of pigeons and we wandered around late at night and you know you get lost a few times because there's so many passageways and alleyways and stuff but always found our way back. so much the newer parts but the old parts like the other Mediterranean cruise we went on we went to uh, Israel and Palestine and all that and I mean you, you, as you're driving through you see the newer parts of the city but you know the old city the old part that's what you want to see right that's just so interesting so fascinating those old streets you know so I, I love that kind of stuff I can just take picture after picture I mean, a lot of the, when you go to these 
ancient cities that newer parts are just like any other city, you know. You know, it's all very modern, you know, and excuse me. Nothing really different. But um, it was an interesting trip. Oh well, that was good spaghetti. The meatballs are good, like I said, we only had eight. Uh, that's all that was left over. I wish I'd saved a few more. I could have had easily had a dozen. But they, they sure cooked down a lot, really shrank. Actually, I, I made this spaghetti oh, it was a couple nights ago. It was still really good. It was, it was in the fridge, just nice and flavorful. What night was it? Yeah, it was the night before last I made it. Very good. Oh, that Cabernet was nice too. Oh, man. I should have got myself a dessert. But that's okay. my friends put that over here that's my um hope you enjoy my pictures of italy uh thanks for tuning in if you want to shout out hit me up okay keep those comments coming i read them all in the meantime look after yourselves look after each other stay amazing out there in the land of awesome and we'll see you later okay bye now